Um, I've been talking about breakouts. And if you remember uh, when we were talking about the principal stresses, and we haven't really talked in detail about how to measure them, uh, because the most effective, you know, sort of saving that for when we talk about hydraulic fracturing, because the most effective way to measure one of the horizontal stresses is by these sort of mini fracks or diagnostic fracture injection tests where you intentionally hydraulically fracture the rock. But those are tests to measure SH min. SH max is one of the hardest, it, well, it is the hardest principal stress to measure in situ, okay, without specialized techniques. However, if you know SH min somehow, say you did a defit, diagnostic fracture injection test, and you, and you know what SH min is, and you did some laboratory testing so that you know what the strength of the rock is, you know the unconfined compressive strength, then you can use the information about the breakouts to infer what SH max is. Okay, so this is a this is a breakout width. So this equation is, uh, is derived and uh, in presented in, in Zoback's book. But you know, so basically, if you can through televiewer caliper data in a wellbore measure the width of the breakouts. You did a D fit, so you know SH min. And you did some laboratory testing so that you know the unconfined compressive strength of the rock. Then, using this equation, you can infer uh, what SH max is. Okay. So that's one of the way to do it when you can't measure it directly. And if you look at an actual well, so this is a test well they they drilled in Germany. And Up to about 3,000 feet, they were able to take some measurements, 3,000 feet deep. They were able to actually take some measurements, say, through DFIT to get SH min. So that, those dots indicate actual measurements of SH min from DFIT. And in this case, using some very specialized tools, they were also able to measure directly in the well SH max. And so those correspond to the red values that I'm drawing here. Because again, this was this was not this was an, a, a well drilled uh, purely for experimental purposes. So they they took the extra care to do some additional testing that wouldn't be part of a normal, you know, uh, drilling operation. However, so so in this case, they actually knew the real values of SH max from direct measurements. And then these uh, triangles and X's out here, the triangles and X's out here actually correspond to methods where these, uh, where they inferred SH max, right, through this, through this equation. And observations of breakouts and other things. So using this equations and observations of breakouts, they were able to, and there's some min and max, you know, the, the, the x's and triangles correspond to the, some bounding values, min and maxes and stuff. But you can see, I mean, they're not, they're not completely out of the, out of the ballpark from where the, uh, the real measurements were. Right? So it does work if you have the, or it can work if you have the correct information. And so, again, up to now, I've, I never, I, I've said well. I know I've this out of habit. I've said the words to build well more stability. 